So, welcome to my preview for the Europa League game on Thursday against Barte Borisov. Sounds like some sort of fucking disease you get, innit? You know what I mean? Fucking hell. Cheers for that, Arsene. Cheers for that, you shit fucks. Don't even know where it is. Where is it? Belarus? Thanks. You know, that's like some ex-Soviet Union country or something, innit? No disrespect to the Belarusians, because I'm sure they're lovely people. But it's not exactly the first place you pick when your team are playing in Europe. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm excited for the game. I've, um, I'm actually really looking forward to it. We beat Cologne in that madness at the Emirates a few weeks ago when they stormed the Emirates and and took over, and it was actually the best atmosphere the Emirates Stadium's ever seen. So, so yeah, I'm actually really excited for this game. I'm going to do something a little bit different tonight, because normally I pick the team I would play, because I'm fed up of picking the team I think Wenger will play. But tonight, I'm actually going to pick the team I think Wenger will play. But I'll come to that in a minute. Whilst you're here... Donkey punched the fuck out of the like button. I appreciate that. And uh, thanks for all the love on the previous videos. Cheers to all the subscribers out there as well. Um, and if you're new, why aren't you subscribed? Smash the subscribe button. So yeah. Um, what do we know about Borisov? Well, we know it's in Belarus. Um, I know that their stadium looks quite nice. Um, quite a modern stadium. It's actually in the middle of a forest which is a little bit strange. I don't quite get that. Is that where they drag all the away fans to and kick the fuck out of after the game? Mm, don't know. <laughs> um, I can't name a single one of their players. I know that's me being a bit ignorant and all that, but sorry, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm now going to pick the team I think Wenger's going to play. I'm going with Ospina in goal after his um, complete and utter fuck-up against Cologne. He will still get a run out because that's what Wenger does. Um, he did a little bit better against Doncaster, although he didn't really have much to do. So it wasn't difficult, really. He made a good save at the end of the Doncaster game. Um, I'm going with a back three. And that back three is going to be Per Mertesacker, uh, the big fucking German. He's going to be in the middle of the three. And I'm going with Holding one side and Callum Chambers the other side. Um... Don't know why Chambers got substituted the other day in the Doncaster game. So, I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that boy's confidence is probably shot to pieces. And, yeah, there we go. That's my back three. This is what he's going to do at left wing back. Because Maitland-Niles is a centre midfielder, and we've only got Kalasanak and Monreal, because we loaned out Bramall, he's going to play Maitland-Niles at left wing back. Yay! Because he's looked so fucking convincing there, isn't he? Jesus Christ. Anyway, right wing back. He's going to play a central attacking midfielder there. He's going to put Reese Nelson at right wing back. Yay! Let's just take away all of this kid's talents and make him defend. So yeah, I'm going with El Nenny in the centre mid role. Um, I thought he'd done really well against West Brom last night and he was arguably man of the match. Although there was about two or three possible con contenders for man of the match, um, Lacazette and Monreal as well. So, so yeah, but I'm going with El Nenny. Um, the reason being is I think that Xhaka and Ramsey are Arsene Wenger's favoured pairing for the season in the Premier League. So with that being said, I think he's going to use him, especially in the Europa League and in the League Cup as well as, as we progress through that. Um, next to him... Another one who's going to be used sparingly this season for league games and is going to be used more in the cup competitions, Jack Wilshere. Um, I personally think Jack Wilshere should be starting games ahead of Granite Xhaka. Um, I've seen enough of Xhaka this season to know that he's been an absolute fucking liability. But that's for another video. Um, for this one, I'm going with Jack Wilshere. I thought he'd done really well when he came on against Cologne. Nice little dummy over the ball, which resulted in the third goal against them for Bellerin. 
Um, so yeah, that's my pairing in midfield. Um, left wing, Mr. 140 grand a week man. On to the right hand side. I'm going with a kid that I rate really highly. I think he's been piss poorly managed since he's come through into the first team. Um, and I think he's got exceptional talent. He showed that against Chelsea the other week. I'm going with Alex Awobi on the right wing. and um, Or as the attacking midfield, as you could call it. Um, the same with Theo. Um, they're, they're both going to play off the striker, so they're technically not wingers. Um, but yeah, I'm going with Alex Awobi. And um, I think he's going to have a good game if he plays. He, he's looking full of confidence. When he came on against Doncaster as well, he caused them all sorts of problems. I know they were a League One side. And we were winning and they were chasing the game. But, yeah, his pace could be crucial. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going with Alex Awobi on the attacking midfield position. And up front, I'm going with Olivier Giroud. I'm not going to put Lacazette in for this game. Um, I wouldn't have put Lacazette in for the game against West Brom. And that come back to bite me, didn't it? So, so uh, yeah, um, I'm going with Giroud. I think that he um, he could do with a couple of goals, get his confidence going. And we got Brighton at the weekend on Sunday. So this game, in my opinion, all of these players that I've picked, I think um, Wenger's going to pick. And I think every single one of them should be trying to stake a claim on first team football. So let's see how they do. I'm going with a score prediction of Barte Borisov 1, Arsenal 3. And I'm going to go with... Olivier Giroud with the first goal. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down there and I'll be sure to reply to as many as I can. Don't forget, donkey punch the fuck out of the like button. Laters, peeps.